Hello everyone and welcome back to MPS Talks. My name is Matt Joseph, the Director for Digital Learning, Technology and Innovation for the Milford Public Schools. We have had so many amazing topics this year at MPS Talks and I want to continue that trend all year long. So if you are interested in a topic or even better, participate in one of our MPS Talks, please email me at mjoseph at milfordma.com. So one area of my professional work that I'm very motivated with is about working with aspiring leaders. Today I'm going to talk about student leaders and skills to become even better. I see that I'm standing here on the Milford football field and there are many leaders that play on this field as well as attend Milford High School. So I wanted to let you know today that we're going to be talking about those skills. I've read a lot of James Cozes, John Wiley, and Barry Posner's work on student leadership and my strategies and philosophy that I'm going to talk about today is guided by their research and work. Their research reveals that a leader's behavior contributes more to a team's commitment, loyalty, motivation, pride, and productivity than any other variable. So it is this, in this case, where some of our traits for our student leaders are going to shine through. So to start, a student leader should be honest. If your team or group doesn't believe in the messenger, then they won't believe the message. Leaders can model that behavior and expect that from others. If they aren't honest, trustworthy, or credible, your team or group will see that right away. So my first strategy for our student leaders is be honest. Second is be forward thinking. Leaders are expected to have a point of view about the future and then talk about that exciting possibilities with their group or team. This is what sets student leaders apart from other credible students. A student leader must be also competent. When a leader is performing at their peak, leaders are doing more than just getting results. Leaders are looking for opportunities and then seizing, seizing that initiative to enhance their perception and their dynamic and show off their capability to all of their team. So finally, be inspiring leaders who recognize and celebrate accomplishments and create positive energy and increasing others' commitment to your vision and values. And that's what makes our student leaders shine. So I just talked about some traits for our student leaders. Well, how are our student leaders going to learn those traits and start to embody yourselves in your growth as student leaders and be exemplary student leaders here in Milford Public School? First, I would recommend seeking opportunities to take on a leadership role. The more you practice your skills as a leader, the better you'll become. Speaking about practice, the more you practice speeches or presentations or talking in front of a group, the more you'll be confident and straightforward in your message and what you have to say to those people listening. Communicate your emotions both verbally and non-verbally and use concrete examples when you're talking with your group. Student leaders also volunteer to lead projects both at school and in your community. Take on opportunities to build and affirm the shared values that can embrace everybody. I know for me, as I continue to build my leadership skills, I read biographies and watch videos of exemplary leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr., President Obama, one of my favorites, Tony Robbins, or even Bill Belichick. Listen to their speeches. Notice what they say as leaders and what they do for themselves to make them successful and in turn make their team or the group that they're speaking in front of successful. So, those are examples of leaders you may not ever get a chance to meet, so also make a point to interview leaders you admire and respect right here in Milford, like your teachers or any of our school or district administrators or coaches. Ask for permission to observe them in their day-to-day -day activities. Identify what they do to lead successfully and ask their advice. So my final two recommendations will help your growth as student leaders. First, Develop an action plan. Use what you've learned in your readings or observations or interviews of leaders to create an action plan to help you practice those behaviors that you admire in the leaders that you were just observing or speaking with. Then 
take some time to self-reflect and assess your own development and ask others for feedback on your leadership skills. So I hope you continue to grow as student leaders here in Milford and I am happy to be a resource for all of our Milford students or educators. So feel free to email me, as I said, mjoseph at milfordma.com. Any questions or suggestions or just to have a conversation about student leadership and growth as a leader or tweet at me at milford underscore tech.